What's going on guys? Alright, so we are back. It is a few days later and the parts have come in. Um, the injector o-ring kit, it's a set of eight. And the nipple cups and o-rings along with the tool to seat and tighten the uh, special uh, nut. It's like an inverted nut for these. Um, so I have to, starting out, like I have to take the valve cover back off because I, I covered that back up. So, you know, just in case of morning dew or anything like that, I didn't want anything getting any kind of rust. So let me get that back out and then I will show you what to do next. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take out the stand pipe and the dummy plug. And then we got these right here. They are T30s. Um, I'm going to start taking those out, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So um, just real, real quick, here's a little tip to uh, if you're worried about dropping any of the little bolts or anything like that. Um, I take uh, these little bitty neodymium magnets, and it's good enough to pick up that socket. I don't think it's going to drop these little... Uh, these little uh, Torx head bolts. All right, well, I'm gonna start taking them out and I'll be back. All right, guys, oh, so it's looking like it's me taking this wheel well out is gonna pay off again because I gotta get to these two right here. Um, and just like the clearance in between there and that shield isn't very much. So um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this uh, Torx bit in this quarter inch like a little little wrench um see if i can get those out and i'll let you know if that works out okay guys so um getting these bottom two out over here it was still kind of a pain from the bottom side but um i was able to loosen them without taking out this evaporator core here um i used my quarter inch with my uh just like a little 30 Torx and then I put a magnet on the back end of it to hold it in there um, and I was able to crack them both loose. I'm about to go underneath though and uh, loosen them the rest of the way and pull them out but uh, that was a little handy little uh, neat trick without having to take that whole evaporator core out. Alright I'll be back. Alright guys so pretty sure we got all of the uh, the little bolts out, the little Torx bolts so uh, Yeah, there we go. Let's take it over here to the table. Oh yeah, that one's definitely bad. Yeah, I'm going to replace all of them. Um, let me get the tool and I will start to take those out. I'll be back. Alright guys, so I uh, just took my air gun and rattled all four of these loose. Um, I need to get a flashlight because I can't see in there, so I know you can't see in there. So I'll be right back with a flashlight. Hey okay, guys, so I brought the table outside so you guys could better see. Alright, so I pulled the O-rings out. Um, they don't look that bad, but I got a leak somewhere, so gotta chase down everything. Um, I've got the new kit here, uh, O-rings and uh, nipple cups. I guess I'm gonna put these, the new ones in, and then move to the uh, the injectors. All right. Alright guys, so I got the O-rings soaking in some oil, got my new nipple cups out, I'm going to inspect these, that looks like this came with a little bit of wear on the inside of it, um, I might inspect one of the old ones and look and use that instead because I don't know if you can see down in there but 
looks like there's wear on the inside of it where these see that's really clean um, all right well I'm gonna start putting the o-rings in the rail and then the nipple cup and then the uh, inverted nut there all right I'll be back all right so figured I would just go ahead and record this that way uh, you guys get to see it all right First one. And I'll put uh, links down in the description to where I got these parts. I'm not sponsored. Obviously, I think I have 74 subscribers. Which, if this was helpful, please consider giving me a sub. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback is uh, appreciated. Make sure that these are seated good. cleaning off uh, everything just in case there are any bits of uh, old o-ring particles that I don't want in my oil cooler later to get the old torque wrench out and uh, get these torqued here in a second after I get all these tightened down hand tight yeah. all right I'll be back all right so these uh, are 75 foot-pounds I will hope I don't have to Go get a bench vise. I don't have a bench vise anymore to get these done. Alright, so I'm done with the oil rail. Now it is time to start getting the injectors out. So we're back over at the truck now and um, we need to unhook the injector harnesses. There's a little clip you just pull out a little bit and it pops right off. Um, and then you got a, there's a socket trick. You could put a socket over it and get the it to come through. Alright, and uh, then it's 
to loosen up the uh, bolt for the injectors. So let me get started on that and I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, so these injector harnesses, you can take a 18 millimeter, push down on it and uh, pull that out. I can't do it one handed, but trust me, it works. I already did it on this injector here. Um, but uh, let's get that injector um, apart, get the, I mean not apart, but the O-rings off of it and like everything and uh, I'll be back. Alright, let's get uh, these O-rings off here. I'm gonna hit this with my uh, wire wheel real quick. I'll be back. All right, uh, so I'm back. Uh, so what I had to do is, um, I got my little, this was an old uh, Phillips head screwdriver, but I made it into a punch a long time ago. But I had to use this, and uh, I don't have a bench vise, and I didn't want to buy one, so I basically held the injector in between my legs, as I had my legs crossed, and uh, I smacked the metal o-ring with this enough times until it bent to where I could get it out with a pair of needle nose pliers. Alright guys, so we got the high pressure oil rail back in. Um, I just got to tighten three more on the bottom, give all the rest of them a little once over snugging, and uh, I'll be back. Sounds good to me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if this helped you out. Thanks.